Hi guys, welcome to our Sims Free Play Advent Hints, Tips and Tutorials. Every day on the run up to Christmas I'm going to be sharing with you a little hint tip to do with Sims Free Play that will hopefully help you play the game better. Day 13 is all about pets. So to have pets in your sim town you first of all need to build the pet store on the town map which is just underneath the park here. Once you have built it if you just go ahead and click on it and it will take you into all the pets you can have. So depending upon what quests you have completed within your game that will depend upon what pets you have show up here. Initially you only start out with dogs and cats but as you complete various quests you win different pets as prizes for those quests. So I have puppies, kittens, the dogs and cats that we start with, a teacup pig, reindeers, dragons and fairies. You may not have them all like I said. Within each menu there are one star, two star and three star pets. So if we look at the kittens we have this, I love the kittens, how adorable. This British short hair is a one star. If you just slide along we have a Maine Coon orange that is a two star. We have another two star Siamese, another two star, another two star we should be getting. Yeah and there we go we have a three star there. The price for them is just over to the right there so this is 62 LPs. Some of the pets are quite expensive. The difference between the one star, two star and three star is that pets actually kind of dig up prizes for you which I'll show you in more detail in a minute and the higher star they have the more likely it is that they will dig up LPs for you. So when you have found a pet that you would like to buy, you go ahead and click on the buy and then you can select a sim. You can select a sim that that pet will then belong to. You can only have two pets per sim. So as you can see underneath it says how many pets they already have. So Barbie here who has two pets, you won't be able to give her any more. So you can only have two pets per household. So we have to find someone who has no pets or one pet. Let's give this reindeer to Melissa and then would you like to buy this? Yes we would and it will just go over to that house. We've come over to Melissa's house and as you can see we have our reindeer that is just already here. Every so often with your pet an exclamation mark will pop up above their head like this. If you just go ahead and click, see there I got 25 simoleons. Like I was saying before this is where the one star, two star and three star comes in. If you have a three star pet, the more likely it is that they may have an LP there. So I would always recommend, if you see an exclamation mark above a pet's head, just go ahead and click on it. You may get some LPs and if not, you at least get some simoleons to help you out. Some of your pets can get some accessories. So if you go into the home store, there is a pet tab. Click on the pet tab and as you can see, you can get different items for your house. There are also actually pets in here, like we have a parrot on a perch. We have parrot in a cage, we have rabbits, I think there's turkeys, yeah there's a turkey in here. There is a few other pets that they don't act the same as the other pets. In fact, let me show you if I put a rabbit down. It is just like a little furniture item. It doesn't have exclamations, it doesn't act the same way as other pets. It is purely just like a furniture item. But they're pretty cute, right? You can buy cat beds and dog food bowls and scratching posts and various items. Next to the item it does say which pet it is used for, so if you can see next to this antique cat bed it has a little cat symbol, so that's for a cat. The other pets you can see that it has the little speech bubbles and that means that we can use it for the social interaction. So if we go to our rabbit we can click on the rabbit and this boosts our social need. Another type of pet that you can get are the aquariums. The aquariums are only available for real money in the game, so you have to go into your online store and purchase them through there. Another way of getting them is by building the architect homes. Quite often the architect homes will actually have some of the aquariums, so if you build the architect homes and then maybe if you decide to delete them or whatever, then you can put the aquariums into your infantry and use them in different houses. If you do choose to buy them, they can also be found in your home store in the pet section. So you have the small aquarium goldfish so we have a small version of the fish tank here and then we have a large aquarium discus and a large aquarium angelfish place all of those down and i'll just show you what the various ones look like the two big ones are slightly different in the different fish that they have in and you can tell that really from here 
and also there is this small goldfish one there. You can relocate your pets if you would like, so if you have chosen them to be at one house and you want them to be somewhere else, you can click on them and you can relocate. If you click on the relocate, you can either put it up for adoption, which means you will get rid of it, it will just go back to the pet store. I wouldn't recommend that if possible, especially if you spend LPs on a pet. But then up here you can select a sim. All the sims that are available to take another pet will show up here and you can just select another one and the pet will move. So if we say let's give this pet to Freddy, the pet has now vanished and it's gone over to Freddy's house. When you're out on the town map it does show you how many pets each house has. So where they have the little circle in the middle with the icon of the picture of the sim of who lives there, just next to it over to the left there is a paw print. This one it has a one next to it, it means one pet lives here. This one has two pets. This one over here that hasn't got the icon means that there are no pets at this house. The other type of pet that is available in Sims 3 Play is the horse. But the horses only can live at the stables on Mysterious Island. Now to be able to have horses, you need to have completed the Need for Steed quest. And that is where you unlock the stables. We go into the stables here. The weather is terrible, right? Over here is the stables and this is where you can access the horse menu. If you click on one of the little plus horses, you get all of the different horses here. With the horses, you start off being able to access just the one star horses and then the two star become available when you complete the horse tricks hobby and the three star become available when you complete the horse vaulting hobby. And your horses just live over here at the stables. They can't go anywhere else in Simtown, which is a little bit of a shame. But I really do like the stable area and I especially love this unicorn, rainbow unicorn. I think it was a, somebody remind me in the comments what, the, what I have got this from. Was it a limited time prize for something? I'm not entirely sure but yeah I have that and I love it. <laughs> I can get more but they cost 120 LP for this rainbow unicorn. Wow, I also do have a unicorn which is 100 LP. But like I say, I'm not sure what they came from, I really can't remember. So I'm sure somebody who is watching will be able to write down in the comments where we got the unicorn and the rainbow unicorn from. We also have a pet salon on the town map. Obviously you'll have to build it first. You go ahead and click on it, you're in the pet salon and all of the pets that you currently have in your town will show up and you can, well not all of them, some, the dogs and the cats and the puppies and the kittens, the fairies and dragons and things aren't can't come into the pet salon you can't do anything with them unfortunately but if we click on one of the cats and then style this pet you get the option to buy different collars some for lp some for simoleons you also get the option to get some headwear oh my goodness look at these for christmas these are adorable i didn't even know that these <laughs> were available Let's put these antlers on him. Yeah, I like this. So that is going to cost 1,500 simoleons and two LPs. We'll buy that. Are we sure we want to purchase the items? Yes, we do. If you click on a pet, you can also rename the pet if you would like. Your pets also have a little happiness icon underneath them and you need to keep your pets happy. So when you click on them, you have some interactions that you can do depending upon which pet it is, you can, let's just pet this one for 17 seconds. You can also play with them, like if you buy, if we go into the home store and into the pets, if we buy a, you can buy like a frisbee, if we got a dog here or a cat, I'm not entirely sure what we have, but we have like a dog, a frisbee here, if let's put this frisbee down, I think that's a cat there isn't it? But if we had a dog here, you could click on the frisbee and you could play frisbee with the dog. You can see that the happiness goes up when we do interactions with the pet. This is a pretty weird <laughs> looking uh, robo cat, so yeah, it's odd. Some of your pets can also take part in hobbies. When you click on them, you can send to the pet park. Now you will only get this option if you have built park Berkshire Pet Park over on Mysterious Island. Click on and send your pet over to Berkshire Pet Park. This is what the pet park looks like and you will have needed to have completed the Life Dreams and Legacies quest. This is something that is really quite far on in the game because you need life orbs to actually build this place. You don't build it with simoleons. This is the pet park and this is where you take part in different hobbies. So we have the dog obedience grounds where we can do the dog obedience hobby. 
have this dog agility park over here where the dogs can take part in the dog agility hobby. And we also have this area, which actually I didn't know wasn't cleaned up, but this is where we do the cat show hobby, which as you can see here, we need life orbs to open. So like I say, this is a very advanced thing within the game. It's not something that newbies are going to be encountering because to get platinum life orbs, it takes an awful long, long time. So you need three golden and one platinum and that is going to take you a while to get. There you go, that is all about pets. I hope this has helped you out. If you've got any other questions about pets, please do leave them down below in the comments and either myself or another simmer will do their best to help you out. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up if you have. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.